Hello class. How is everybody today? My name is Emma Willard. I was born in Connecticut in 1787 and I am the 16th of 17 children. Imagine how my life was. Thank goodness my father always wanted me to learn and to, to be a woman and to have a smartness about me and that is exactly what I did. I'm a woman's right activist and I am really a woman's right activist for females. They need the extra help. The education in the school system for females has been terrible for these people for years. That's why I've worked in the education system for many years, many years. And then I married my husband, Dr. John Willard, a wonderful man, best choice I ever made. Once I married my husband, I opened the school. It was my first school. It was called the Mayberry, excuse me, <laughs> Middlebury Female Seminary. Then I moved to Troy, New York, where I opened my second school up. That female seminary was called the Troy School. It was later rena renamed the Emma Willard School after me, of course. How great can that be to have yourself a school named after you? It's just wonderful. I was just so excited. I can't even tell you, class. I just can't tell you, class, how excited I was to have that school named after me. Well, I wrote poetry, did some textbooks, blah, 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 which I made quite a good profit at, may I add. Then the sad day happened. My husband he passed in 1825. I stayed at the school until 1838, and then I had my son and his wife take over. They took over my duties and made sure that my school ran well. Oh, then I married somebody else. What a mistake. Horrible man. We were only married nine months. It did not last long. Let me tell you, class, make sure you make wise choices. That was not a wise choice. So, I'm just going to travel around now, spend the money I made on my books, promote education for women, and spread the word of mouth that education for everybody is great. Just great for everybody. I don't use this on people very often. I just make sure I try to get their attention with it. Well, it's about the end of my life now. It's 1871. I'm getting mighty tired. I've wrote books. I've opened schools. I hope I have progressed the female agenda for education as well as everybody else's agenda for education. I'm going to go to sleep now. Never to wake again. Good night, all. Good night.